Let's see how the BQN BQN works as a transparent TCP proxy to accelerate TCP connections. Suppose we have these two servers on the right. They want to send seven packets, as an example. They'll do it TCP in three rounds. First one, and two, then four, trying to probe the capacity of the path. We have these two clients on the left. When they get the packets all right, they will send these acknowledgement pack, uh, packets saying they got those uh, all right. So on the top, we'll have a direct path, five seconds, as an example. And in the, on the bottom, we'll st stick one of our nodes, BQN, between two and three seconds and we'll count the packets as they are received by the clients. So when we get the first packet, we will send, as if we were the client, an acknowledgement packet to the server, saying we got that round OK. So when the server gets this packet, it will send the second round. And when this second round reaches us, we will store it in a buffer we have for each TCP connection and when the real acknowledgement gets to us from the client we are able to send the second round and with this in this case we are gaining four seconds over the top connection and the same will happen with the third round we are gaining four seconds for every round just because the end client is seeing the, the packets as coming from a node that is closer and closer means faster and we will have gained even more if there had been any packet losses between us and the end client because we would have been able to retransmit them earlier than the server line further away.